Hello and welcome to Innovation Bites, the podcast where we take a snapshot of the tastiest and most exciting parts of the Australian innovation ecosystem. My name is Lenore and Innovation Bites is brought to you by Disruptors Co., recorded at Quantum Terminal on the lands of the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. This week, we'll be interviewing Dennis Spring and Michael Kadori about the relaunch of Ignite Sydney. Let's take a quick look at what's making headlines this week. The US-based Screen Actors Guild have gone on strike in part because they claim that major Hollywood studios had proposed a deal where background actors could be paid for one day of work, scanned using AI, and their likeness used in perpetuity without their consent. The claim mimics an episode of the Netflix series Black Mirror. Great to hear that Indigenous-led First Australians Capital has secured $15 million to support Indigenous entrepreneurs. First Australians Capital are the only Indigenous-led and controlled business advisory and social impact fund for Indigenous businesses. Applications are open for AgriFutures Accelerate program, a golden opportunity for startups. The program is inviting a diverse slate of innovators to apply from agri-food tech entrepreneurs to startups interested in tackling major industry challenges, such as environmental sustainability and food production. Applications close later this month on Monday 24th of July. In the Australian telecommunications space, Optus partners with Starlink to provide almost 100% mobile coverage across Australia. The agreement aims to expand the reach of customers' mobile connectivity to include 60% of Australia's landmass that currently has no mobile coverage. But there will still be a little bit of a wait with full services said to be up and running by late 2025. Michael Kodahi, Dennis Spring and myself were speaking recently and we were thinking about the great events that used to happen in Sydney and how they no longer do. And we thought there was a great opportunity to bring some of these back to life. And the first one we thought of was Ignite Sydney. And so we reached out to Stephen Lead, the founder of Ignite Sydney, to talk to him about how that might come about. And we're now really excited to be announcing that we are bringing it back to Sydney on the 19th of September. We thought we'd bring Dennis and Michael into the studio to talk a little bit about what we've got planned for Ignite Sydney. And uh, we're going to cross to them live now. So now we are being joined with Dennis and Michael. Um, Dennis, would you like to introduce yourself first? Sure. Uh, My name's Dennis. I'm the CEO and founder of Giant Squid. We're a creative agency and uh, we're bringing back Ignite. Oh, yay. (laughs) Tell me more, Dennis. And for anyone that doesn't really know what Ignite is, could you give us a quick little spill before we get into it a little bit further? Uh, Sure. Um, Ignite is a fun, fast-paced uh, night of presentations using famous Pecha Kucha format. So lots of ideas, uh, lots of kind of thrills, a little bit on the edge of your seat. You don't know if someone's going to stumble because the slides auto progress, but uh, yeah, ideally come check it out. It's high intensity. And uh, Michael, would you be able to give us a little bit of an insight of what do you do? And uh, Yeah, I'm actually a veteran Ignite speaker. I think I've spoken at maybe uh, eight, nine, eight, something of them. Um, Are you Ignite? I am ignited. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Um, yeah, I run a public speaking training company. So my kind of half interest is that I love to help people speak. And in fact, I do that because I used to speak at Ignite and loved it so much. And um, and yeah, and then off I went. I used to speak, uh, do keynotes and I used to run events and all that kind of stuff. And now I just teach people how to be better on stage or present ideas that are sticky and memorable and all that sort of stuff. So a communications coach kind of thing. Lovely. And he's back this year. And he's back this <laughs> and year. And back this year at Ignite, apparently. <laughs> well, thank you both for being here. It's, um, it's great to have you. Thanks for having us. And one of the things we were thinking about uh, as we started to think through Ignite Sydney and was that post-COVID, there's not been a lot of cultural activity. People are not really coming back to events, but maybe they're coming back to events now. And is that is that the plan? Or I know that's my thinking around the plan, but... Um, what do you guys think? Is it time to bring it back? I, I think I think it's a good test for whether Sydney's back or not. You know, we're, we're seeing, I think Ted just got, re, uh, TEDx just got announced. Yes, I saw that. Um, South by Southwest is coming to town. Things are starting to look like normal meetups and community type things are starting to show up again. Um, and when people, t- when people say to me, the city looks dead on a weeknight, I'm like, well, I'm there on a weeknight, a lot of weeknights, and it's not that dead. Um, and Ignite was always one of those events that, 
was a perfect after work. You know, you, you buy tickets ahead of time. You all know in a couple of weeks you're going to see a whole bunch of people talk. Um, and it's just a fun, easy just drinks at the Oxford Art Factory. It's just a fun, easy night. And I think, like, it's not a lot to ask. It's not like a huge event with a huge price tag. It's a, It's got the vibes of a, you know, work crowd after work on a weeknight. Um, so I reckon it's going to be an ultimate test for whether, you know, I'd like to be able to say Sydney is back because we did well back, in launching the night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we brought Sydney back. That's what we <laughs> yeah. yeah, You're welcome, South by South. Do we do keys to the city? Is that, is that an Australian <laughs> we'll talk thing? talk to Clover. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk to Clover about getting a, a, a bling to the city. So from behind the scenes um, kind of angle or, you know, from an Ignite speaker point of view, what's it What's it like? What's What's – What's the vibe? It's How the does best. it work? It's the best. So Ignite started, it is a community event um, and anyone around the world could, could run one. Stephen Leeds run it in Sydney for, and it's probably one of the better ones that I've you know, seen around the world since forever. I think he got to what, 16, maybe 17. I don't, I don't know the number. Sorry, Stephen. Um, the format is brilliant because it, they're five minute talks. They're 15 seconds a slide. There's 20 slides. They auto advance. You submit your talk ahead of time and you do not touch a clicker the whole time. So there's a thrill of not, be, and I'm a pretty seasoned speaker and the format still scares me <laughs> because I'm like, I can't, like I have to, I, you have to rehearse, which like it teaches everybody you need to rehearse. Um, so the format is just fun. So when people come and support their, the, you know, their friend that's speaking or they come because they've come to other ones, they know that there's a thrill to being on the edge when you do that talk. But at the same time, it's casual and it's fun. It's not like this competition where you're going to get booted out or voted out. It's like uh, they're fun to deliver. And, you know, there's the, what's that famous Einstein quote? Um, you can't explain something simply, potato, potato, something. How does it go? <laughs> Don't explain it at all. Yeah, like you, the person who can explain it simply is generally the person who knows the subject matter. And I reckon that five-minute thing, um, it forces you to be the expert. Because I've had many a talk that's a, you know, one hour talk. It's like the, uh, the, the Mark Twain quote. I had to write you a long letter because I didn't have time to write you a short. Yeah, line. absolutely. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And Churchill as well. If you want me to start my speech now, I'll go for an hour, but if you want it short, I'm going to need some time to prepare. Um, but that's what that Ignite format does. It gets the ideas to their juicy bits. And in fact, the tagline for Ignite Worldwide has always been, uh, enlighten us, but make it quick. So there's a whole bunch in there. That's like fun for anybody to come and, and learn something new that they wouldn't have learned about. One of my favorite talks is uh, he's coming back, actually, Mark Cohen. Um, he does a talk on how to peel a banana. Yeah, yeah, Mark's awesome. Uh, he does a talk on how to peel a banana. So it's a very yeah. like, okay, you know you know that video with the, um, like, how do you peel a banana? Well, What's up? The, the neck. The, the, yeah, well, no, right? So it's from the <laughs> butt side. Um, but Mark went and, you know, we did slow-mo videos peeling bananas, see which one is quicker. And we did, but and so he took it to work. And he, he was, go, his, he was um, presenting to his board. And when, you know, like we spend so much time debating how to peel a banana rather than just eating the banana and right. we do that with our software development projects, blah, blah, blah. So he took that like three years worth of work that he was a CTO over at a company, um, three years worth of work and knowledge on like deliberating for too long and not being able to fail and all the business lessons. And he turned all of that into a five minute talk and it's still one of the better Ignite talks. Um, and that's what I love about it is it forced Mark to go, I know you're smart, but I, are you smart enough in that subject matter to do it in five minutes? <laughs> you know, with a with an with an active slide deck that you can't control. There's just so much thrill and but fun as well. So I find that very interesting as well, that in terms of a theme, it's sort of can relate to business, but it doesn't have to be so direct, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean the crowd is a professional after work crowd. So it's a business minded crowd who are happy to go and they're young and they want to go for drinks after work, right? Um but we don't we don't allow things like what are the rules? No, no pitching. No, no pitching. pitching. So even though there might be, a bit, I mean, you've probably learned stuff in your job. And my first talk I did, which was probably one of my favorite ones, I was working at Microsoft at the time, and I realized later nobody knew where I worked. Like it wasn't. <laughs> I didn't. Yep. So you have to advertise where you work. But when you're not, you're not there going, I've got this great startup, and I want to tell everyone about it. You're not getting through. Yeah. Um, so there's a business minded crowd. So let's be smart. Let's pitch ideas. Let's show things that are that are insights that you have. But you're not here to sell your product or your your whatever. Yeah, we're here um, to ignite yeah. ideas and which is really rare, by the way. Yeah. Any meetup or community group or after work, you know, um, um, group gathering, there always there's an intent, it's and the intent yeah. is there's a sponsor or there's someone who wants your eyeballs, and we're not that. It no sell. Never been no that. sell. There's no sell. You're not allowed to sell, and that's kind of the beauty of it. In yeah, fact, this is the most sell the event will get. 
Is that- <laughs> <laughs> but going back to what you're saying about the um, the format, I mean, you can feel that in the crowd. It's visceral. It's kind of you know the stakes are high and there's a chance of someone stumbling, not making this. Like everyone's there cheering you on. Everyone's standing up. Everyone's got their fingers crossed that you're going to nail it. Um, it's almost it's got a little performance art kind of angle to it, almost like an open mic sort of comedy 100%. night without the awkward silences of jokes not being funny. Well, you know, I felt the same. So I, I've done improv, <laughs> right, and I've done Ignite, and they have a very similar vibe because everyone's that most improv is someone's had the courage to go look, take I'm an improv here. class. Courage, yeah. So they brought their friends along. So the crowd is just supportive by nature because they're to support their friend, but also they know everyone else is there yeah. as a bit of an amateur. Um, the same vibes at improv, the same kind of feeling. So who can get involved? What does it take to become a speaker here? What does it take to become a speaker? Yeah. Um, have, is there a screening uh, have, process at all? There is a screening process. There is a selection panel, a uh, pretty broad group uh, that we're kind of running all these through. And the main thing is no pictures, make it interesting. Uh, you know, you want the crowd. This this is entertainment above anything else. Yeah. So between now and the end of the month, mm-hmm. um, we're thinking we're going to close submissions on the 31st of July. July. Um, Not long. So you go to, what's the website? Uh, ignitetalks.com.au. Ignitetalks.com.au. And there's like become a speaker button or submit to be a speaker. That will go into a, a list of all the people who've submitted, of which we've got a bunch already. And then there's a bunch of us who will kind of curate and kind of figure out what's going to work best for, on the night. Then we'll get to those back to those speakers. And then we'll do like a, a speaker briefing just to make sure everyone's on the same page and a rehearsal as well. And so we care about the quality being mm. high, which is why we're at this early stage looking for people to, to submit a talk. And anyone can submit a talk, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter how young or old you are, as long as you're old enough to be – you know, at In the a bar, bar. <laughs> yeah. at the bar, and um, you've got some some courage. I think that's that's yep. the word. Um, and that's the one that's and anyone's important because you want speakers who aren't on a speaking circuit pitching their book. You In fact, speak- ideally, yeah, ideally, ideally, there's no ideally there's no one like Michael. Yeah. Well, again, Mark's talk, you know, he was the CTO for so long, and he was so involved in and summarized his knowledge into that five minutes. Like you're going for people like that with real experience and not charlatans who are trying to sell you something. You know? And as soon as someone does mention a website or try to sell something on stage, the crowd will just go up and lynch. Just you know, <laughs> No pictures. We have security, bro. <laughs> Great. So we're aiming for the 19th of September. Is that correct? 9th of September, 7 o'clock start. Doors open at 6. Oxford Art Factory. And I hear there might be some music involved as oh, well. Oh, well, well, uh, <laughs> Have we booked them? Yet? No, no, no. Didn't no, no. tell you, Michael? <laughs> no. It'll be an entertaining. Guys will be singing. It will be an entertaining evening. We're um, we're we're open for acts actually as well. Maybe we'll put that out there just now. We just made that decision. People that do music. People that do music that um, will provide some entertainment. You know, we'd like to hear from you as well because you know, there's something to be um, yeah, it's to a be enjoyed there as well. Bring the night up, absolutely. Mm. Great. So ignitetalks.com.au, 19th of September. Yep. Buy a ticket. If you want to buy a ticket or submit a speaker submission. Love to hear from you guys. And if you want to speak, do it now. Do it now. And if you're speaking, you still got to buy a ticket. So do both. (laughs) (laughs) Awesome. Thanks, guys. Great to. You're welcome. Great to tell this story about bringing Ignite Sydney back to life. Thanks for having us. Thank Thank you. you. As you can tell, we're pretty excited about bringing Ignite Sydney back. But one of the things that is most interesting about this is the combination of the human and the technology. So a lot of people are going to be coming to Ignite and talking about technology, but they're also going to be talking about humanness, about what it means to bring technology into their world, into their work, and into their life in general, and where it's all going. So we're getting a sense of coming back to what was normal for us in a new way. And I think Ignite, these sorts of events, are at the forefront of the way that we are thinking and communicating and engaging in new ways. And we're going to see more of this. We're going to see more of a combination or a tension between the technology that we're using in our work and play, the way that we bring that into our lives, and the choices we make around where we spend our time, whether we're spending our time on these devices with the technology or with other humans, and where that choice is located. Again, one of the interesting aspects of this is about what does it mean to go to work? What does it mean to create culture where you are happy and engaged at work, and how you are most 
productive. But then what is beyond that work cycle? What happens outside work? How do you connect with your teams, your colleagues, your friends? How do you make those connections and get them to last in such a way that when you are working together and you need those collaborators to step up and help you um, to create something fantastic, it sometimes means you need to draw upon an experience that is not just about work. It's about your values and who you are as a person, who you uh, choose to work with, who you choose to collaborate with, and perhaps more importantly, where you choose to work and how. These are things that we're going to have to work through more forcefully and deliberatively over the coming weeks, months and years. And I think that we're going to see an explosion of these events and new ways of working, new ways of coming together in this period of time until we can figure out what a new rhythm looks like. I'd love to hear any questions you might have or thoughts you might have around this and by all means drop them into our comments or send us a message and uh, we'll see you in another week. Mm -hmm.